Good morning, YouTube. Saturday. Um, obviously, that only means one thing normally, doesn't it? Just go back and do some work on Polly. Um, show you what I've been up to. Didn't post last week. Um, just show you what I've been up to. Let me just turn the camera around. So, almost there with this panel. Um, it's not welding on, as you can see. Don't get excited. Um, I'm just it's jot on with tape at the minute. Just still working on that inner wheel arch. So, I think jobs for this weekend are going to be finish that inner wheel arch off, seal it, and whatever else I need to do, um, and then get this panel fitted. Um, I have been get, getting some other bit. Let's just turn you back round. How are we doing? So, we all know what's been going on uh, COVID 19 or Corona virus. Um, so, I've been getting sort of uh, getting prepared, getting some bits and bobs, so I think the inevitable is going to be that um, we're going to end up with a couple of weeks off work. Um, they haven't called that at the minute yet, so we're still in. Um, we've got a week off at Easter, um, and I think now we'll, um, we've stopped production. I think we'll, um, I think we'll probably finish sometime next week. So, I'm going to make the most of it. Obviously, I think they're going to self-quarantine everybody, um, but. I'm not going to be able to sit in the house for two weeks. I guarantee you that. So I'm going to, my house is just there. So I'll be self quarantining around the back. I uh, hope we get some nice weather. I'm just getting geared up now to really try and get some work done on this van. Um, I'll show you a couple of things I bought this week. Um, just bear with me, I'll open the other garage up and uh, I'll show you what I bought. Two secs. So I've got and treated myself. Um, to a uh, air compressor, 100 litre compressor um, from Machine Mart. Uh, I'll do a, I might as well do an unboxing and a, a review on that when I use it. Um, it might be quite handy. There was a 50 litre, just to give you a quick insight, there was a 50 litre for 275, say, I think it was, and then was the 100 litre for nearly 300. It seems it's a no brainer to go for the 100 litre. Um, with just the, just, just the small increase in price but I'll tell you what we'll do we'll get that out the box one day next week if we're off um, I'll do a full review of it and then see what it's like when I get to to paint old Polly um, pick colors got all colors to go um, so yeah I'll do a review on that if anyone's interested so but I uh, one of the very small things I know a little bit about um, just bear with me I'll tell you what else I bought it's quite budget but I'm gonna see what it's like let you guys know as well so I have bought the um, Clark's gravity fed spray gun it's a 1.4 nozzle um, so it's got all the bits and bobs and that in there so I'll do a review on that when I start using it as well obviously my time as painting cars I've used Devilvis and everything else they're really expensive I'm just going pure hobby if this was your hobby um, you know you're not going to go and spend 300 quid on a Devilvis spray gun um, and you're probably not going to be able to get it into a spray booth either so I'm going to try and attempt to do everything I've got with um, the little bit of space I've got so that'll all be coming up if people are interested in reviews leave it in the comments below um, I'll get them done at this start. So yeah, job this weekend, guys. Um, if I finish this quarter panel off, it's going into a bit of a trilogy now. So three weekends I've been on it. Um, but I am weather dependent outside, to be fair. So I'll have a quick recap then of what we do, we do, we've done. So we put the inner wheel arch, as, as everyone knows from the previous videos, and that was rusty. If you haven't watched the previous videos, um, and you know have a quick look back um, plan is today see that inner that inner lip there so going to weld that inner lip all the way around and what we'll do when we put the panel on we'll seal all here and push it and then we'll weld down the sides um, stop the water going on the inside whether that was com whether that was complete luck from my behalf but when I put the panel on today and put it off it, there was no gap in between that shit um, I say we used to call them shit shields when we was in the body but that inner wheel arch there was no gaps I say could be just luck but I could do I could have done with a bit of luck with this to be fair 
so yeah i'm going to do that put that lip on today we'll seam seal all the edges um paint inside and then we'll hopefully do that today and hopefully try and get this quarter panel on tomorrow uh, weather permitted obviously right then i'm going to crack on uh, i'll keep you posted what i'm doing there and where i am okay then so i hope this turns out okay in the video so that inner lip there put some slip so we can get the the bend um has all been welded on that inner arch i'm actually <laughs> i'm really pleased as well this morning and i don't know what's changed the only difference is and this may absolutely make no difference at all but i'll, I'll mention it anyway it's probably a in the, I suppose when I've always been working a bad tradesman always blames his tools but the only thing I've changed um, I ran out of um, welding wire and the welding wire I was using before was from Machine Martin it was £10 a reel and obviously because I didn't know any better I've just persevered with that and just just used it because I think that I, I was just blaming but just blaming that for my welds I guess but when I bought that from Tool Station, that reel, it was twice as expensive. Instead of £10, I think it was £20. I thought it had been a bit ripped off and I was paying over the odds. But, I don't know, I, I think it welds better. But maybe it's just because I've been, um, maybe I've just been practicing and practicing and maybe that's just it. But I'm, I'm quite pleased with that, actually. So, jobs in. I, need, I think I'm going to need to pop out um, if anything's open. So, seam sealer it all now, like when you watch, get it all painted, protected, and then I can stop putting this quarter on, which I'm really looking forward to now. I'm, I'm looking forward to it even more now my welds are getting better. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll catch you all in a sec. I'll show you what I've just finished. So, threw a bit of pine on the metal, under sealed. Um, all down there, all underneath. So I'm quite pleased with that. To be fair, I should just um, seal it with that underbody sealant as well underneath there. But it's all primed. Uh, I guess next step is to um, just zoom out a little bit. Um, I guess the next stage is to uh, get this quart panel on. Um, so I'm going to crack on with that now. As I say, I started well and then I mean, forgot it was Mother's Day, so I had to pop out. So just keep cracking on with it. Weather's nice. Right everybody, it's Sunday. Weather is absolutely beautiful today. Uh, it's Mother's Day. I'm um, starting to get this panel welded on. Um, really enjoying it now, trees really starting to come together and it's start to see through to your, your labour. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on welding all that on and then hopefully that's that job done. Well guys, that's pretty much me uh, done for this week. Um, quarter panels on, I'll just quickly show you. Finally on. Welding's oh, not right. But it's on. Um, I'll probably in the week just uh, tidy that up a little bit. Um, I may even drop some welds on the inside. You can see that inner arch fits really quite nice. I'm getting that. So, guys, um, I'll put a video on next week. I'll just keep safe, everybody. Um, I'll see you next week. Cheers.